Why do you love who you love? How do you know he or she is one? You probably think you have complete control over who you date and who you like. However, psychologists have found that may not be the case. There is in fact a plausible biological basis for attraction. We may have less conscious control over love life than we thought. Psychologist Wedekin in his wet t-shirt no, 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 wait, I mean sweaty t-shirt study, provides evidence to support this theorem. The basis of the study is the MHC complex, which stands for Major Histocompatibility Complex, which is really just a fancy name for a set of surface cells in the immune system. They bind to self a foreign peptides that represent them as T lymphocytes. Many studies have suggested that the MAC influences attraction as a means of preventing inbreeding. We designed an experiment using the recognition power of the nose to find whether human body odors and female preferences to them are, in fact, MHC dependent. The aim of the experiment is to find whether human body odors and female preferences for them are MHC dependent. All the participants were students of the University of Bern, which is in the German-speaking part of Switzerland. They were from different departments, therefore likely not to know one another. There were 49 female participants with an average age of 25 years old. There were 44 male participants with an average age of 24.7 years old. They were typed for their HLAA, HLAB, and DR. HLA class 1 and antigens to discriminate their alleles. They were given neutral odor bathing supplies and deodorant. They were asked to live in a neutral odor environment and eat neutral odor foods. Pills were administered to the females to simulate pregnancy, which was noted as a possible confounding variable. The guys were given 100% cotton t-shirts. Sunday night, they slept in the shirt. Then, when they woke, they put it in a plastic bag during the day. Monday, they repeated this process. On Tuesday, the sweaty shirts were lined up at random in boxes with a hole on the top for sniffing pleasure. Three of the shirts selected were similar, and three were dissimilar to the HLA antigens of the female participant. There was one control t-shirt in a marked box so the participants would know what the t-shirt smells like. The women sniffed the shirts and rated them on a scale of 0 to 10 for intensity and sexiness. The women were given a nasal spray for 14 days prior to prepare their noses. The women were tested again whenever possible in the second week after the beginning of menstruation. Women not taking oral contraceptives found the smell of t-shirts belonging to men with dissimilar HLA to be more pleasant. 
This effect was reversed for women taking contraceptives, as they preferred the smell of t-shirts from men with similar HLA to them. The contraceptive pill seems to have a strong influence on odor preference. This indicates that steroids, which are naturally released during pregnancy, could change body odor preferences, leading to a preference for odors which are similar to those of relatives. This preference is probably not related to mate choice, but may be comparable to a certain degree. In observations of female mice, it has been found that they prefer MHC similar individuals for communal nesting. Findings show that some genetically determined odor components can be important in mate choice. The observed mate preferences could be a means to efficiently react to pathogen pressures. If so, the negative consequences of disturbing this mechanism by the use of perfumes and deodorants or by the use of the contraceptive pill during mate choice need be known to users. you asked to be down here because you know we're experts and all yeah <clears throat> that's fine so first of all i guess we can talk about the strengths of the study yeah you think yeah, yeah. That'd be okay with you tim uh-huh um really i was really impressed um with the ability to um keep from hawthorne effect from the right. participants right in that uh it's something very biologically based and it's not that easy to lie about your scent preferences so right Right. I mean, you can't cheat on your antigens. Exactly, and that, that large sample size really helped. Yes, I mean, just yes. That wide variety of both men and women. Definitely necessary mm -hmm. um, in order to get the um, differences in antigens to have similar as well as dissimilar right. in the trial, especially since every person is unique. Right. Um, they did that very well. Right. Uh, it also has some ecological validity to it in mm -hmm. that uh, a t-shirt is something you smell that a man would typically wear in the world. And the way in which... They developed the odors, you know. Right. It was very natural in their in their home environment. Yes. So, um, yeah. and also with that home environment, how did you bring that up? Mm -hmm. The idea that they um, controlled their bathing supplies, and right. their food, and their lifestyle right. uh, to the amount they could, which then really brings us into weakest at uh -huh. that point. And how it's sort of controlled. Yes, yeah, sort of controlled. Yeah. I mean, you can't control everything, which right. You can't you can't lie about your your scent. So. Yeah. But still, everyone's um, lifestyle is different. Right. So you can't completely like lock them in a room uh -huh. together. Exactly. So some men are getting more odors than others, which is going to be a weakness in your results. Right. Since every woman's getting a different batch of t-shirts. Exactly. Really. Um, and that really brings down uh, the ecological validity as well with the idea of putting the t-shirts in boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eugene really wouldn't be smelling men's t-shirts out of a box. No, I've never sniffed a man's t-shirt out of a box I, with a hole in it I myself. can't say I have myself either. <laughs> yeah, so that really, but I'm, you got to think with the fact of practicality. Right. Is there really another way? Yeah, I mean, there were, I mean, then you're looking into the Hawthorne effect with maybe this guy's more attractive than this guy, regardless of his smell, yeah. the lady chooses that guy, we're looking at all sorts of problems. Yeah, well... I mean, you prevent some of those with the fact that they can't see them and just right. sit in the shirt, which was good on their part. Right. Um, overall, this um, study is very strong as far as a correlation, although you can't fire, provide any proof. Um, they did the best they could to control things, and mm -hmm. I think you could draw a considerable conclusion um, with the HLA complex and smell and women's preferences towards them. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you around. <laughs> Pop quiz time.
Yeah, that's all, folks.